Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey, so let's get started. I'm going to use tape, as usual, and I'm watching some YouTube videos, so I'm going to show you guys who I'm watching. This is Naomi. Yeah. So, um, you want to start off with your soft ochre paint pot. Well, I do, and I just literally put that all over my eye. This just acts as a base on my eyelid so that my eyeshadows come off as pigmented as possible and they last all day. And now I'm going to set that with some translucent powder. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe as well. So thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't joined our family already. So I'm going to use Coco Bear by Makeup Geek as my transition color today. And I'm using a Morphe 511 brush to place that right above my crease the same place I put my transition color all the time and I'm just going to blend that out now I'm gonna take hot chocolate by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm gonna take that same 511 brush and I'm going to pack that in the outer V this look is very it's not sloppy but it's not very precise so it should be easy for you guys to do and replicate so I'm just using that same brush and just putting it in the outer V. The tape helps it as well not to be so sloppy. Now I'm going to go into my Tarte um, 2 palette and I'm going to take that dark gray color and put that um, closer in the outer V if that makes sense. So I'm just going to pack that right in the outer V as you can see that I'm doing right now. Right below that hot chocolate color. So you don't want to cover it up. You just kind of want to pack it in right there and kind of wing it out by the time my voice sounds kind of scratchy um I don't know what's going on but yeah I'm okay uh and that I was using like a tapered brush for this step like a tapered blending brush just so you guys know and I'm kind of dragging it into the crease as well just blending it out this look is not hard difficult at all I'm just literally <laughs> blending everything out in the outer V oh and just going through my subscriptions I'm watching it's Steph oh my god yo she slays when I tell y'all she slays she slays like go check her out I watch a lot of people so mm -hmm. just putting that out there <laughs> um so now I'm just gonna use that same blending brush it looks like and I'm just going to blend everything out I don't really know how to explain today um just basically blending um that dark gray color with the hot chocolate color and just blending that's all I don't really have to say much <laughs> so yeah just blend now I'm gonna out. take the color pose by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm gonna pack this all over my eyelid with a eyeshadow brush and this color really matches the lip color that I'm going to put on my lips today which is stone by Mac so it pairs really good together so now I'm going to take this rocker color from the Tarte palette and I'm going to put that over it just to add a little bit more shimmer and make it pop a little bit more. And just pack it all on top of that color. Now I'm going to take um, that Saber Blending brush again and blend the outer V color with the lid color as well as the crease. I kind of want it to be like a slight wing today slight winged eye look type thing so now I'm just going to blend out the transition colors and everything <laughs> so now I'm putting another color from the Tarte Lip palette in my inner tear ducts to open up my eyes a little bit so now I'm taking eye coal by MAC and I'm going to put this on my waterline I do this almost every tutorial I've tried white but it does not look good on me um so I always do black I don't know it's just my go-to now I'm going to take, what is this? Oh, the darkest color in the Tarte palette. I love this palette. And I am going to smoke out the lower lash line just to give my eyes some more depth and more color. And I don't know, I just love smoking out the bottom lash line because I don't know, it just makes everything look better. <laughs> and I'm just going to blend that out. And I love this brush because it doesn't get in my eye. And my eye is very sensitive. My eyes are very sensitive. So yeah. So I'm going to take some mascara and... Um, do my bottom lashes just to make them a little bit fuller and longer and all that stuff so I'm just um, smoking out my bottom lash line again because some mascara got on my lash line my bottom lash line that's really it and I'm just gonna add some more of that um, inner tear duct color because it got washed away after I did like my highlight and stuff 
So now we're moving on to the lips. I'm taking this Rimmel Eye Coal and I'm going to outline my lips with this. It's not a lip pencil, it's actually a eyeliner. And I'm just going to outline my lips with this. And this is just going to help, I don't know, our color to not look as harsh. It's a really weird type color. I've never worn it before. So I just wanted to wear it with a lip liner first to see, you know, how it would look. So this is Stone by MAC. I've had it for a while, just never worn it. So um, it's like a cool purple toned grayish color. So I'm just going to put that in inside my lips <laughs> not inside my lips but you guys know what I mean and that's really it I just patted my lips together after that so I'm going to take the glow kit and um, I am going to pack this on the highest points of my cheekbones and yeah that is it besides spraying my face with the Mari Badescu rose water spray and that's really it that's really it guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe bye guys